Happy Friday, Sleeping Evie family. It is the end of the work week, and what better way than to celebrate with some card openings. So, like I said on Wednesday, we have this Giratina Hidden Potential 10 left, and we're gonna open it. I did check it before I opened it, and it does, in fact, have five packs. So, we did not get gypped today. So, we will open up this one first. And I got some single sleeve blisters to open right after. It's uh, some Vivid Voltage and Lost Organ. I was trying to get some Evolving Skies or Astral Radiance, I think. And they just didn't have any, so I went with Vivid Voltage. Which is okay. We can try to see if we can pull that Pikachu. Alright, let's get into the first pack. See if we can start off with some insane luck like last time with a gold card. I don't know if we'll get that crazy luck, but hey, let's start it with a hit. That would be cool. Okay. And you can probably hear my pupper in the background. <laughs> Haunter into a Cabalion Hollow. Not too bad. All right, next Chilling Rain pack. So all these had Chilling Rain in it. They did not have Evolving Skies. Some people, I think, through LCS's got Evolving Skies, which I think it's just a distributor thing. But most GameStops, I think, had Chilling Rain in these. Which, again, I don't think is too bad of a pack selection just because I'm looking for some more cards out of here. All right, let's see. Snow Runt, Grookey, Spiral Energy, Brawly Trainer. Wow, I already have this full art trainer. He's actually really, really cool and very off center. <laughs> but the colors in this trainer are really nice. Brawly from the Hoenn region. They brought in some Hoenn region trainers into Sword Shield, I think, these last couple of years. But a very, very cool car, very vibrant in color. So we will stick that right there by the pumpkin. So next one is Fusion Strike. I gotta say, I've had some pretty good pulls now out of these tents, but with that trainer out of this one, and I got a gold card from the Rotom one, and then that Eternatus trainer gallery from the Gallade one. So these weren't too bad. I think other people would pick better stuff than I do for myself sometimes, um, but that's okay. Eldegoss into a Vigavolt. All right, Lost Origin. So I gotta say, the employee who picked these out for me, I appreciate it. <laughs> You're doing a much better job than I am of picking stuff out for myself. And I think the Zero Aura VMAX V-Star box is available on Target app to get. So I might go ahead and snag that to open it next week. I'll check stores as well. Hisui and Sligu into a Magnazone V. A nice duplicate there. I set the duplicates aside, at least the Vs aside, for trades. I now have a bunch of Radiant duplicates. Uh, some V Star duplicates as well. I try to keep those separate. I know the V's aren't that tough to pull as duplicates. All right, next pack. And this is the last one out of this tin. But I gotta say, it's pretty good. Poliwag Radiant Gardevoir. This is all the same. I pulled some duplicates into a Dugong. I love the Radiant Gardevoir. The Ralts line is probably one of my favorites. Uh, I'm a big fan of Gallade, actually. It's, his design is just really, really, really cool. And uh, I think I have a shiny Gardevoir in Legends Arceus. I was trying to evolve to a Gallade and didn't quite realize how to do that. So I made the mistake, which is definitely something I do <laughs> because more times than not, whenever I evolve an Eevee, it does not go to Umbreon first. I usually forget about the Fairy move and evolve it into Sylveon first. 
or I'll be in a different area like I was in Sun and Moon and I evolved it into a Leafeon, which was a happy, kind of a happy accident because I now have my appreciation for Leafeon. All right, Shuppet, Pyroar, into a Porygon Z. It looked like it could have been a really spicy pull, so I wasn't sure. Okay, next pack. So I will try to find another Shiny Ralts in Legends Arceus. Okay, next one. Let's see if we can pull something great out of here. I'm waiting to see if I get another really awesome trainer gallery. I'm a trainer gallery pull again. So, Hisuian Growlithe, Phalanx, Aerodactyl V Star Rainbow. Holy cow. The rainbows are so hard for me to pull. And look at that sparkle. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Rainbows are so hard for me to pull out of this set. I don't know why. Oh, that is amazing. I'm pretty sure I do not have this one. I've been holding off on getting the rainbows just to see if I could pull some. Oh, that's awesome. It's so, so glittery. All right, that's awesome. <laughs> Definitely people have a better time picking out packs over myself. So <laughs> V-Star Rainbow. Couldn't ask for a better pull. Could not ask for a better pull. <laughs> I know it's an Aerodactyl, it's not like a Giratina or anything, but it's a rainbow, oh my goodness. All right, we are in Vivid Voltage. Let's see if we can pull that Pikachu. Oshwat Beedrill. Maybe the Pikachu does exist in one of these packs. It's one of the last cards I think I really want to pull out of this set. So, I can't remember if there were any other ones. I have them on my list on Pokelector of ones I want to pull. It might just be the Pikachu. That big rainbow chunky chew. Okay, we got Memory Capsule into a Dialga. Last vivid voltage pack, and we have two more lost origin. All right. Let's see, let's see. One day I will get this Pikachu. One day. <laughs> and let's see Opal, Drillbur, Whalmer, Tynamo. Well, nothing in the reverse hollow slot. Explode into a Galarian Berserker. No Pikachu today, but we will not give up. We'll keep finding some vivid voltage and we'll try and try again. It's funny, my coworker didn't realize he actually had that card until I showed it to him. He had pulled it and just had it, I think just sitting in his binder, I think in his sleeve. And uh, I was like, yeah, no, that's that's the card people are hunting out of the voltage. He could not believe it, and I could not believe it. He just casually had it. Roselia into a Manetric. All right, last pack. Let's see if we get some luck out of here, too. But I think we did pretty good. We got a Full Art from Chilling Rain. We got Magnezone V. And I think that Gardevoir also from the tin, if I'm remembering correctly. And then we have that Aerodactyl V-Star rainbow so far. Okay. Maybe another awesome trainer gallery pool. But I, I think we did all right. Worm pool? Nope. Into a Cramorant. So no big hitter trainer gallery pool today, but that's okay because we did get a rainbow and that is definitely going in the binder. And that Brawly is a duplicate, so I probably will put it up for a trade or something if people still need cards for their Chilling Rain Master Set or they just want to collect Brawly uh, Full Art Trainer. So. so it's a different day, but I did actually find 
uh, two boxes at GameStop I wanted to open today too. It's the Deoxys VMAX V-Star box and the Zara Aura V-Star VMAX box. And I found them on Wednesday, so I wanted to go ahead and open them and add them in on to the end of this video. I thought I was going to be able to find these on Friday and open them, you know, some point next week. But I was actually able to find them on Wednesday, so we will actually go ahead and open them, which I'm super excited about. I really love that Zara Aura one. It's probably one of my favorite uh, mythical Pokemon. So... There's a code for that, and there is our Jumbo right here. And then, of course, we got old V-Star Tag. And these come with two Lost Origin, an Astro Radiance, and a Brilliant Stars. So I'm going to flip those over, and we're going to actually start with the Brilliant Stars. <laughs> Yeah, I was lucky to find those. I was really excited and decided to just go ahead and uh, open these. I really, really love that Zero Oil one. The Deoxys one looks really cool too. I'm just a bigger fan of Zero Aura, especially the shiny version of it. It's actually really, really cool. It's completely white Zero Aura, Zero Aura is, at least. <laughs> Gibble into a Manaphy. But these are brand new. I believe they came out either this week or they came out last Friday. But they're still pretty new. I know Pokemon Center has the Deoxys one up on their website. I think it's sold out right now. But they did have the Deoxys one up. They didn't have the Zero Aura one up. There should be some new boxes actually coming out on Friday. Or on today. Um, just can't remember what they were. It could be, not the Verizon one, Reggie Alecki. Uh, not sure. But uh, if I see them in stores, I may grab them, especially if they look really cool. So we got the two Lost Origin packs now. Nothing so far in these boxes. Usually with these, I always put into the fact that it's you're probably just gonna get the promo as your best pulls. I don't like to bank on the cards and even though I've had some pretty good pulls out of these, but Roserade, there we go. Roserade Trainer Gallery. As I say, we're not gonna get any pulls. And Rotom V Full Art! Wow, <laughs> that really surprised me. Oh man. And now I've pulled two of the Rotom cards. Now we're gonna only pull the alternate art, I'd be super happy, but Rotom V alt art. I'm getting a little bit of better luck out of Lost Origin. <laughs> been running, I've been having a little bit of a rut in it, not really getting too much of anything. But that's awesome. I think also got the rainbow, if I'm remembering correctly. Since I did record these in two different sessions, so... <laughs> But, again, <laughs> surprising because I usually don't bank on getting really too many pulls out of these. We will see what we get out of the Zero Aura box. The cards themselves, the promos, and we got Parasect Trainer Gallery. And this might be one I went ahead and picked up too, so this could be a duplicate. But Parasect Trainer Gallery, that one's really pretty too. I... <laughs> I never think I always come into these boxes thinking I'm just not gonna have that great of luck. And this one actually has, I may have to check the I think the Deoxys has this too, but it has a little bit of upgrade guide. I may read that a little bit. So if you guys get these boxes, maybe give that a little once over. So last time we saw something like that with the boxes with some celebrations so i'm interested in what that has to say and here is the jumbo v star i have to say i think the v max looks really really cool they picked great artwork for zero aura i love both of the cards 
Okay, we'll go back into Brilliant Stars. So are you guys going to pick up these boxes? They were $30, they come with four packs, and they come with technically four promo cards. So I guess it's kind of fair. I know they always uh, put some of that price into the promo cards. There's no pen, there is a V-Star marker, but will you guys pick up some of these uh, boxes? Or have you? I just knew I definitely wanted those. We have just more product coming our way. And I think it's actually going to be next week that the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection comes out. And I'm super excited. I have been going to GameStop to pay it off in parts. And I think I go today, it should have it paid off for nearly so. So I'm really excited. And I am ready for that. Because I, I pre-ordered one and I will definitely open it. And I want to see those cards. But I know, I've noticed that they have, in fact, had a ton of pre-orders. Just at Walmart, Target, Pokemon Center, a bunch of online stores. Um, GameStop had a bunch too. So they might be printing a lot of this, of this Ultra Premium collection. But we will see. If I can find another I'll probably keep one sealed, but I definitely want to get one right now. And then Hisuian Zorark V. Lost Origin is treating me well today. <laughs> Those Charizard cards look amazing. I cannot wait to see them in person. It's going to be awesome. All right, the last pack. Last one out of the Zero Aura box and last pack. Let's see if we can get a good pull to end on. So these definitely surprised me. I've gotten some pulls out of them. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one more pull at the very end. All right, Jinx, Snover, Bronzor, Gumi, Chandelure, and Hisuian Electrode Full Art. Wow, we got two full arts. We got two full arts out of these boxes. That is a nice surprise. This one actually is pretty center, centered pretty well too. I think like the Rotom might be just a little bit off, but actually it's centered pretty well. They did an excellent job with this. I know it seems like the Electrode is not in a uh, really cool uh, position on the card. It's just kind of staring at you, but the background kind of makes the Electrode pop really, really well. And they picked a fantastic background for Rotom too. That green that allows Rotom to just pop off the screen. So, but that is officially all I have for you today. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, because we opened up a lot of Lost Origin, we got some rainbows and full arts, we got some really cool cards. Leave a like and comment down below if you guys are going to pick up these V Star V Max boxes. But until Monday, when we have some mail. Take care, sleep well, good night.